Well, Grand Rising and Wholeness family, welcome to Homeschool Approach to Holistic Health. I'm your nutrition assistant, Coach Scott, here in a very tranquil home. I can't wait for you to meet my next guest. I've heard so much about him uh, through actually several different mutual friends. Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself, but I just want to have the opportunity to take you around his tranquil space. Um, everything has meaning around here. I've just been looking at some of the pieces that he's found in different places. Look at this. If you want to just sit back and it actually looks like a museum in here. If you guys could only be here to see for yourself. Some of these pieces are so beautiful. I see cell like another cell like back there. I'll have to get him to pronounce that properly for me. <laughs> it's got a very oriental feel as he puts it. I am truly in love. And this over here, oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. If this doesn't make you want to come home, I don't know what does. <laughs> I'm so impressed. And then I've seen the Lords over here, I'm thinking, ninja? <laughs> who, who are you really? <laughs> nice, beautiful, beautiful. And y'all know I don't have the best camera skills. I'm trying my best to get you guys to see all this beauty in here. This is happiness. Look at this beautiful. <laughs> the soft candle holdings. I don't know what to talk about first. <laughs> I'm in love with this piece right here too. Absolutely beautiful. I even see the lights behind them. Can you guys catch that? <laughs> Who's this guy? Good stuff. If I could just be quiet, <laughs> you could actually hear what's going on. Well, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to sit and wait patiently for my guest to arrive so that I can introduce you to him. Oh. Well, hello there, sir. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 all right. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Welcome to Homeschool Approach to Holistic Health. Yeah. <laughs> this is Damon. I'm gonna, can you grab that chair for I'm trying to make sure I get our spot right here because, no, the, the shorter one. I want to make sure I get that beautiful fountain back here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have so many questions. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. All right. So I'm right here, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome to your home. All right. <laughs> hey, you too high. Let me see. Pull it up just a little bit. Maybe we should, should we switch seats? There you go. I think you're in there. Scoot in a little bit. Okay. I think we're good. We're good. Well, I always bring my guest gifts. So this is for you. Oh, awesome. Yes. <laughs> 
But there's something else in here. I noticed when we first met that you wore glasses. So check check what you, check what else you got in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I, I seen Pete wearing something. Ooh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Now what they for again, Pete? They keep me from going stir crazy. Well, see, what it is is the glasses that you have on now yes. actually kind of weaken the eyes, and it because it's they're called optical glass lenses. Okay. Where these, if you look in them, they're pinhole glasses. If you guys look in there, there are a bunch of pinholes. So what they do is they actually strengthen your eyes. Oh, so yes. it's making your muscles in your eyes work. work. Okay. Yeah. So I was so like, I, so I, so whether they hear me, maybe. Oh yeah, you and I know you, the man. You know about that kind of stuff. Oh, so I, I knew you would appreciate those. I do, <laughs> and, I, and I and I look good. And <laughs> oh yeah, I can't All wait right. to get into this conversation. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, you're, you're most much welcome. Appreciate. You're most Absolutely. welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> I love a man that knows when he look good. Thank you so much for doing the interview. That's what that was. It was infinite gratitude for uh, doing this for me. And again, I was sharing with them that I've known mutual friends that said, uh, you need to meet him. He's his chi, his energy, his... He's, uh, you know, they just couldn't even formulate the words. And I could understand them, as I said, overstand them and understand them, that your energy, I'm, I knew you before I just, before I met you for the first time. Absolutely. So I was excited. I was like, I want to get him on the interview. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad. That, my pleasure. Yes, <laughs> and I'm looking good. around, I'm really blown away. Like, I want to ask about every single little thing. And ask away. I'm, <laughs> I'm an open book. Do you mind if I sit here? Oh, absolutely. Okay, because I think that would be perfect. Yeah, because I didn't want I didn't want to sit on his uh, <laughs> the arm, but I'm kind of light. <laughs> That's all good. But I just want to know who are you, and the main reason is because I really want to have this beautiful scene right here. Um, who are you? Who is Damon? Damon is, of course, my birth name. My name is Damon Burris. Uh, and who I am is whoever I aspire to be. That's right. You know, whenever I aspire to be that. That's right. Uh, I, I'm bound to no rules uh, yes. or nobody's way of, you know, whatever society thinks. I had people, you know, just from what you saw uh, around my uh, house. I, I've had people like, oh, you think you Chinese, or, you know, or, or because I've been in martial arts, you know, uh, you know, for the, through the years, or I've had that interest. Uh, people, oh, you know, you, but you know, this is, this is for us all. It's for That's us right. all. It's by us all. That's you know, right. it's not a Chinese thing. It's not a, a it's a everybody thing. That's you know, right. whatever makes you feel good, whatever, right. whatever is a reflection of your soul, of your spirit. Uh, yeah. You know, that's what you should put around yourself. Whatever makes you feel good or energizes you. That's Yeah, I like that's to say what, what makes your spirit good. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. Your, yeah. it, the, the, body, the body that we are in is a reflection of our soul. That's so, right. You know, so why shouldn't anything else? You know, if I love these things or even, you know, even if they things that I didn't know that I loved or liked in the first place. Right. Uh, you know, you get them and you, you discover things about yourself. You know, you did, uh, there's a lot of things in here that I got that, you know, once I got a chance to, uh, I guess just really be in here in my space and just kind of, you know, because a lot of this stuff came back, you know, when my, my wife passed away. Right. Uh, so everything in here has... Everything in here pretty much came at a time that I needed it to come. Ooh, yeah. uh, you know, it, uh, once I got in, <coughs> excuse me, once I got into the Oriental well, thing. you got some water. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely, yeah, because I showed the throat was trying to get dry a little bit. Uh, but once I realized, uh, once I started getting into the Oriental thing, which I actually picked that because uh, there was, in, in Oriental art, 
um, there's so much abundance of color. Uh, and, and in the time that I was going through uh, in the healing, you know, in my, you know, with my uh, lady passing away, color was the thing that I was missing. Mm -hmm. Uh, color therapy. There is just such <laughs> yeah, thing as yeah, color yeah, therapy. Yes, and, and it and it definitely works. It, it definitely did. Uh, and I can tell, I don't want to keep interrupting yeah, you, but you I can tell because there's blues and greens. I see the blue behind the TV and mm -hmm. then the green, and those are both very high vibrational healing. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. And I can see it. I can feel it. Like, I can really feel it. And Okay, but I don't want to interrupt. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> but it's so exciting. I've uh, through some of my studies, I've learned a few things. Like I'm a I'm a master of nothing. I'm a jack of all type that's of right. trades that's and right. experiences. But I'm only here to master myself. That's you right. Know? So you know, I talk a little bit of everything. I kind of you know I I take a little bit from everything. It's kind of like how Bruce Lee did. You know, right, Bruce right. Lee took from different. Uh, Bruce Lee did, took from different martial arts styles and right. philosophies to come up with uh, Jeet Kune Do to come up with what he came up with. So right. we, we take what we need out of here. Then do you have a name for what you, because he actually shared a story off camera regarding what interests him in martial arts. And I love the story about how he first got introduced oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, yeah. the martial arts. I, I, I tell everybody that my first martial arts teacher was officially my mother. And the way that she was my first martial arts teacher, because I used to get so many butt whoopings that I started, I started learning. You know, I could hear where the belt was coming. You know, I could, you know, I could, I could catch it. You know, so what? You know, it was, you know, so that was my first one. You know, so I read when y'all see the movies where they had to put the blindfold on to listen for the leaf. I was already that. And if his mother's anything <laughs> like me, he he good in martial arts. <laughs> Because I don't like spanking. I would always yeah. tell, even my husband would cringe. I don't like spankings. I don't like the energy that I have to be in to discipline you. So if I spank you, I don't want to do this no more. Right. Yeah, they, they, the beat down came from all directions. You know, I, yeah, you, you wasn't getting ready. You know, she tried to stay at the lower half. But after, you know, after I got too good down there, you know, you got to train the whole body. You know? So, you know. I caught that, so you know I probably could have whooped a few of y'all, you know, at ten, you know. But anyway, that's another story. We'll, we'll come back but, for another interview. But, <laughs> but anyway, after after that, uh, you know, after her being my first one officially in my mind, uh, uh, I used to watch the uh, uh, what was it Kung Fu Theater. I used oh, yeah. to watch the Kung Fu Theater and the old martial arts. Uh, programs and after after it went off you know whatever I saw I was always you know I had my little bowl of cereal and I was watching and you know I you know I caught all the moves and then everything that I wanted I took all the bits and pieces you know and 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 the things that matched with my body type and you know and just my mentality I took those things outside and I practiced the things that I felt like uh, were achievable or, or that I could, you know, put into my foundation to add to my repertoire. So that kind of critical type thinking, you know, was already, you know, present there. And I've always been aspired to be a critical That's thinker. Right. And That's I, right. you know, want people to be critical thinkers, right. you know, in whatever they do. Uh, That's right. uh, so, you know, so then so forth and so on. I never... I never really achieved any uh, rank, really major rank or anything like that in the martial arts because I never, uh, I never was actually in it to to become a black belt or anything right. like that. You know, I've I've been around for a while. I know double, triple black belts. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen people. You know, you get your butt whooped, you get your butt whooped. Martial right. arts doesn't make you tough, so. Uh, I more was in it for the health uh, aspect of it, uh, more than the self-defense aspect of it, which I started, I got away from a, a hard martial arts, you know, external martial arts like karate and, uh, uh, you know, things like that, you know, where you more external ex exertion of force. And I started getting into more internal things because I was... Uh, I'm a peaceful dude. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's I'm right. a peaceful guy. So, you know, right. I'm not going to, if, if peace is my foundation, then I, 
I don't really want to force external myself to practice more. Yeah, right. I don't want to externalize. Which brings you know. me to like the profession of like a lot of physical, like even bodybuilders. Um, the the goal is to lift as much weight as you can, mm -hmm. but in the spiritual realm, it's to release as much Absolutely. weight as you can. Absolutely. So, which brings me to my second question which I feel like has already been answered. How do you love yourself? I, I love myself. I love myself in many ways. Uh, but I would say to kind of encapsulate the love that I have for myself or that I show myself uh, would be time. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't you can't love anything or anybody unless you spend time with it, you know, uh, in, in my mind. So the time, the time that I spent decorating uh, That's right. was time that I put into myself. Everything was a critical thought. Uh, when I, uh, anything that I got in here was something or anything that I thought, like I would think of stuff when I first started decorating, I would think of stuff that I wanted and like, the next anywhere from the next day to within the next couple of weeks I would go to places and I would find it. I may ride past a place that I hadn't been to in a long time or uh, you know something like that and I would and just something would be like hey you know pull over and stop at this store and any time that I've ever got that feeling I would do it and there was always something for me. Uh, even if it wasn't exactly what I wanted, it was something that still complemented the thing, you know, that I had in my soul, you know, for what I was going through. Uh, and I, that's everything that's in there came together like that. So the time, uh, the time that you spend on yourself doing anything uh, is love. Time is, time is, time is non-refundable currency. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Speak it. Time is non-refundable currency. That's you can't right. get time back. You don't know how much of it you have, neither. And it's one of the things that we disrespect and that we the most reckless with. A lot of people out here, I, you know, yeah, I like money, but money don't move me like that. You know, I don't... You well, know, you, I don't, you mentioned earlier before we even got on film that the money is just another form of currency. It is. It's just that a, needs yeah. to be moved. Yeah, just that's right. Money <laughs> comes, money goes. So I spend it on my bills, but... I don't hoard it and you know what I'm saying and you know and covet it you know some right. people this their thing you know if they got you know that them you know to some people I guess and I'm not here to I'm not trying to knock nobody if you know for whatever your whatever, you know, whatever floats yeah. your boat whatever makes you feel good this That's is right. what I do and man, right. if, if spending your money on some Jordans you know is what gets you there or you know uh, trick daddy supreme you know however you go <laughs> through it you know that's what you do you know what I'm saying but you have to, in, in taking time, those are superficial things. In, in taking time, you have to go inside yourself. You have to, there are people who are afraid to even just be silent. You know, that's why I meditate a lot because, one, and this is, goes to all for whoever's considering themselves a Christian, Muslim, or whatever, you speak to God, whatever you call him, you speak through silence. Uh, that's why you meditate. You're not meditating to do some type of Chinese ritual or anything like that. Meditation doesn't have to be folding yourself up into a pretzel. You don't have to transform into a wallet or nothing. And, you know, just fold. tap in. Yeah, just tap it. Just which, which relax. Is, which is interesting because when I first was uh, doing the panorama of the room, I was just thinking, I don't even want to talk. Even if you look at my first <laughs> videos, I'll have to let you know about my YouTube videos. And look, I, I asked him for an interview, and he don't even know about my YouTube videos. Yeah, I ain't seen it yet. I'm going to look, though. So, yeah, this is new. So, so I'm excited because I just wanted to be quiet the whole time. In my first videos, I don't speak right. because I really wanted to transcend languages. Yeah. I don't really want to, to, to speak, and you have to, because I know English is my first language. However, it's... It's not who we are. You can no, tell this not. ain't who we yeah, are. Yeah, so when it, when you say Oriental is an Oriental, I don't know if I agree with that either. Right, yeah. Like you said, yeah. this is what called to me. Right. So why did it call to you? It didn't call to you because 
it's oriental, it called to you because something within you said, Absolutely. I like this. And then you spent that time uh, building yourself back up, and now you created a space to where somebody like me can come in and be like, this is a museum. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can enjoy the art of what he was transitioning into from, you know, the, a loss. And I like to say that in a way that I don't, we don't lose people. Like my dad, right. well, I lost my mom first <laughs> in 2003. And when I lost my mom, my legacy to my mother was eating better, yes. healthy, because I seen everything that she went through and I would do everything that I could for her, but on medical terms. Yes. But once I started, after she had passed, uh, or transitioned, as I like to say, I began to eat better because I, I was just finding so many things that healed, you know, foods and stuff. So that was my legacy to her. When I lost my dad, we actually, my sister and I found him at 333. And this number always came up all the time. And so I really started studying numerology. Right. And so my legacy from my dad was numerology. So I don't consider myself that I lost them. I consider yes. them still growing with me in these specific areas. Right. And Absolutely. so when I think about what you've done here, when it comes to, you know, your wife transitioning, it's like, well, I told you when I came in, it's like, it seemed like she's still here. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, this is beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I, uh, it, it's, it, it, it's been, like I said, uh, none of this was was this way. And just even because I like you, I used to dream about her all the time. And, you know, they weren't always, sometimes it just, like I was I was really going through it, you know, but I had to really come out of that. Uh, and and I've, I've, I'm the only child. I have a half sister, but, you know, uh, for the most part, I've always kind of been my own psychiatrist. That's right. That's <laughs> you know right. And we and, are. And, and I've been other people's, you That's know, right. so, you know, That's you know right. just a listening ear, you know. And That's I, right. You know, I don't claim to be or profess to be some know-it-all, but I know me. I'm, dri right. I'm driving this truck. That's right. You know, so, you know, I know where the gear is and this and that is, and so everybody needs to... And, and, and loving yourself, just everybody really needs to take an intimate look into themselves uh, about what you truly are, not not what the rest of the world, you know, what, what a video, or you trying to aspire to be somebody else or live somebody else's life. You have to truly, you have to learn how to be silent. You have to learn, and most of all, you have to... What's Cat Williams said? Uh, Cat Williams said you got to have a, a healthy amount of effort. You know, I ain't. You know, I ain't. Uh, you, you got to have because a lot of people, and I see a lot of things with people. There's people that say they love themselves, but they don't. They don't have the the in depth. Some people just kind of skim the surface and be like, oh, there's a boat on top of the water. Or, oh, there's a shark fin or this or that, but. And then that's their whole outlook on the water. But, you know, what's all up that's underneath right. the surface of what you've seen? How deep does it go? Right. And and people need, and most time people, especially in this fast-paced world that we in now, uh, everybody's going, going, going. Everybody's a product of their environment. Everybody's got themselves in this little in this little box mm -hmm. of this is what I do. You know, uh, right. this is what I like. Uh, our... Even from like when we was children, you know what I'm saying? Our, our whole idea of what actually fun is, is nothing but stress. You That's know, right. we kick our own butts. You know, right. at the beginning, I mean, you know, I can't think of no way to say it. You right, know, we right. kick our own butts. Right. You know, and and one of the ways I say it is whatever you let confine or define you. Yes, well, confine, confine you. you. Absolutely. So, that's Absolutely. So, when all you thinking is money, pay the bills, get this type of car, okay, it's, I mean, you know, it's people that sometimes, some people don't even realize that not even having a lot of money is your blessing, you know, it's right. money, you kill yourself with money, right, you, know, right. you don't have the wisdom to, That's right. but, but, but just to be in depth, you know, know what you want, know yourself, be That's real right. with yourself, just like they tell a, a drug addict, you know, the first thing for you can quit the drug is you got to recognize that you have a problem. That and that's with right. anything in right. life because everything is addictive. You know, is. sex there is, is addictive, there food is, is addictive, uh, 
too much religion, too much of anything is a bad thing, so you have to have balance. So That's I right. just, I strive to look into myself That's and right. the way I love myself is I, I take time to know what I want, to know what I feel. I study everything around me. I know that I just don't wake up angry just because I'm an angry person. There's different things. It might be the TV. I might have too many things plugged up in my wall right. that's hitting me. You know, I, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's just the more you know, knowledge is power. And of course, the only way you achieve knowledge is through taking time. So that's everything, right. anything that you do comes back to time. Whatever you learn, whatever love you show somebody else, it comes through spending time with them or right. taking time with them. Whatever love you show yourself, it comes through time. And, and you've taken the time. And, and with that said, because I don't want to make the video too long, what I am going to do, though, is do a part two. I already know. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to end this one because I am a new YouTuber, so I don't want to make it too long. But before we leave, because he said time, I really, because I ever since I've walked in this space, I want it to be quiet. So I just want to take the next three to four minutes, even with us just sitting here on the, the and just be quiet. And I hope you guys can feel it from, from, mm -hmm. from here. But the next three minutes, if you don't mind Pete timing us, give us three, just three. That's all we need. All right, I got the signal. That's three minutes, and I'm, I'm telling you guys, I hope you felt what I felt. I really, really, really. Um, sometimes you just have to appreciate where you are, and I just want you to know that I, the glasses weren't enough. <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, I, I was, I was honored that you even wanted to interview. <laughs> Nobody ever wanted. To <laughs> Well, I, I, I see spirit, you know, I, I, I'm all about spirit. So 
We're going to wrap this one up again. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Infinite my gratitude. Pleasure. And I hope you're going to stick around for another interview. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys. Wholeness. <laughs>